Augmented reality er en utvidet virkelighet. Det er en måte å legge et digitalt lag med informasjon opp på den fysiske virkeligheten. Vi tror at augmented reality er det neste skrittet etter mobiltelefonen. Mobiltelefonen er i ferd med å få en avtager hvor informasjonen vil være. Today, I will be presenting my assignment on reference function. I will be discussing my chosen unique service in the library. Among the six functions of the reference and information section, I chose the instruction function. Now what is this function? Instruction function aims to conduct library orientation either formal or informal. Libraries have long been at the vanguard of implementing community access to modern technologies. A librarian can become a trendsetter in technological applications and realize innovative approaches that are unconventional. Out of all the technology trends and services in the library, I will focus more on the immersive and engaging service that has shaken up the landscape of the library, that is augmented reality. According to Investopedia, augmented reality or AR is the heightened version of the real physical world that is achieved through the use of digital visual elements, sound, or other sensory stimuli delivered via technology. You may ask what makes this service unique. AR or augmented reality is an enhanced version of reality made possible by technology. It is commonly presented as a futuristic technology that has yet to be implemented in most Philippine libraries. Now who are the target users or audience of this service? I believe all library patrons can use this service. Nevertheless, it's necessary to have a target audience who are more inclined to engage in service. This would be the students. Why the students? Because students are the significant users of technology. The library service aims to do the following to introduce students to the library, to familiarize students with images and information regarding the building prior to their arrival on campus, to provide a virtual library orientation of the library, to introduce and instruct students on the wealth of resources and services available in the library, and lastly is to provide information about the library staff or faculty. Now what can the service do? How can the users benefit from the service? The library service helps library users, especially the students, to be aware and acquainted with the library, its collection, facilities, staff, equipment, and services. This can also help students who suffer from library anxiety. I admit that sometimes I can be one of those students. An augmented reality application for library orientation can also aid in reducing library anxiety related to knowledge of the library by acquainting students with the location, navigation, and information of the library. Some students feel hesitant or unwilling to ask the reference librarians or library staff for assistance. Hence, an augmented reality application can solve this barrier. Other benefits of this service include the following. It is customized or personalized to suit the library's users. It is free to download. It has a user-friendly interface or a simplified interface design. It has a faster access to information through scanning. 
It is also readily available, for it is informative. It also reaches out to more users, for there is interactivity and engagement. It also enhances library service, thus increasing library workflow. In every library service, there are always policies and procedures. For the AR application, there is also the terms of use. The terms of service applies to all users of the site, including without limitation, users who are browsers and contributors of content. Users must also read the terms of service thoroughly before accessing or using the service. By accessing or using any part of the service, the user agrees to be bound by the terms of service. If the user doesn't agree to all the terms and conditions of the agreement, then he or she may not access the service. For the general conditions, one may not use the application for any illegal or unauthorized purpose, nor may he or she, in the use of the service, violate any laws in his or her jurisdiction, including but not limited to copyright laws. A breach or violation of any of the terms will result in an immediate termination of the user service. One must also agree not to reproduce, replicate, copy, market, resell, or resell or exploit any information of the service, use of the service, or access to the service without the express written permission by the creator. Now for the information collection and use, to provide their intended functionality, the AR application may require access to a variety of information. When the user registers, the AR application asks for information, such as the email address and password. The AR application automatically receives and records information and its server logs from the user's browser, including his or her IP address, cookie information, and the page he or she requests. The AR application does not rent, sell, or share personal information about the user with other people or non-affiliated institutions except to provide information or services that the user has requested when the app has his or her permission. How can the application launch, download, and be used? In the planning process, librarians collaborate and work closely with the other departments and sections involved in the library and the student affairs to create supporting materials, technology infrastructure, and also to determine the logistics. The library will acquire a customized AR application that has a free software. Librarians can overlay additional information or digital content such as images, videos, animation, sounds, etc. to physical objects through AR. Library staff, materials, equipment, and facilities will be shown in the application. The library must also train the library staff on the AR application and its usage. The library must also promote the application online and offline among the library users, particularly the students. In downloading the application, the AR application will require a mobile device and an internet connection to download. The AR application will be free to download for the library users. The augmented reality application will only be available in iOS, in the App Store, or in Android, in the Play Store. So now, in using the application, when students have downloaded and opened the app, a Login dialog box will show. The login information of My Silliman Portal and the AR application will be the same. A step-by-step -step tutorial will be presented to the students on how to navigate the AR application. Students can scan and read QR codes to turn a photograph or object in the physical space into an interaction. For example, scanning a 2D map of the library brings up the map in the 3D format.
The AR application may need the following resources. The AR tools or software with its underlying code, the budget or the overall expenses, the advertising both offline and online means, the mobile phones for the users either in iOS or Android, the internet connection with the minimum bandwidth needed of the app, databases and library collection, rules, programs, policies, etc., which are the sources of information, library training programs for the library staff, and lastly, technical support with both physical and digital assistance. Now that would be all from my presentation on my library service, which is Augmented Reality Application. Thank you very much for listening.